Warning, read and follow all labels and the owner's manual. When gas pressures are correctly set for the tip being used, the tip itself will remain relatively cool during the duration of the operation with the exception of residual or reflected heat from the workpiece itself. Improper gas pressure settings or insufficient gas flow can cause the tip to overheat. This is known as tip starvation. And once that starved tip overheats, it will eventually cause the gases to ignite before they can leave the tip. This is called a sustained backfire, which is characterized by a hissing sound with little or no visible flame exiting from the torch tip and can lead to a flashback. Let's watch a demonstration and see what a sustained backfire looks and sounds like. Torch designs vary, and care should always be taken to avoid flashback. However, this particular torch is designed with three tubes that keep the gases separated until they reach the tip. Gas mixing takes place only in the tip itself, so a sustained backfire is almost always isolated to the tip. Here we are forcing a sustained backfire. Watch closely and you will see the tip slowly begin to turn red. Remember, when you have a flashback, the flame is burning backward in the system as far upstream as mixed gases are found. Depending on the torch design, the flame will travel to the gas mixer inside the tip, the torch head, or the torch tubes. To prevent a flashback, always purge the system before use. Check the system for damage or leaks. Change the cylinders at 20 PSI minimum content. If you should experience a sustained backfire or flashback, it's important to immediately turn off the torch valve first, then turn off the fuel gas valve. Other manufacturers may recommend different procedures, so it's best to find out what's recommended for the equipment you're using. After extinguishing the flame, close the cylinder valves and bleed the gases from the system. Drain the oxygen by opening the torch valve. Watch until both needles on the oxygen regulator gauges drop to zero. Then, be sure to close the torch oxygen valve. Next, back out the oxygen regulator adjusting screw to the out and off position. Now, repeat the process for the fuel side of the system. This oxyfuel system has now been properly shut down. Be sure to check out the rest of the videos in our how-to video series to learn more about how to safely and effectively use oxy fuel torches and other gas equipment.